Oh, what's happening? Uh, just watch this uh this this video about uh it said it was called the history of gun control. And it it's it's crazy because every time in history when they try to do extreme cases of gun control where only the government has guns every single time there was a they proceeded gun disarmaments never precede peace it precedes a mass uh genocide event <laughs> you know uh and that's just repeated over and over and over again that you know you see this same pattern like uh like uh the Not Only Wolf video End of America and the ten ten steps to uh uh to a, the same ten steps. Every dictator takes the same ten steps. And normally uh pr right prior to martial law, uh you'll see a militarization of paramilitary police, and here's another thing that they do. They they make the civilian informant class of people the uh you know your cia nsa uh, infoguard types you know what i'm saying they establish these networks of snitches that it, it's intelligence rings like the culper ring which is uh the american spy ring network at the beginning what uh pre-revolution time you know uh but you know you see other you see the the nazi and their gestapo and their uh stasi uh, you look at this stuff and uh, how they were doing mass surveillance with their older technologies, but now, and mass experimentations as well. I mean, just look into Joseph Mengele and how he had everyone high as a mug, dude, gave him Vita Molten, which was code word for uh, that meant amphetamines, intravenously amphetamines. So that's that's a hard dose right there to take an injection of some uh, of some dope. You know what I'm saying? That'll make you uh super insane if you're insane you know what i'm saying super evil uh basically but it's crazy uh i mean that's it's documented factual basis that look gun control does not proceed uh uh just like communism never led to world peace it only led to like these these dystopia type societies we're almost in a dystopia like society right now because i mean look i've seen the militarized police vehicles uh no time in history have it's not that you need that type of stuff it's just they have it because they want it because they're gonna need it for only to, reason they would need those type of things is if they were planning some kind of fucking takeover some kind of event or i mean see they might believe it's not a <coughs> They might believe it's not a takeover. They might believe that it's uh, an, a national emergency, you know. So they might be getting trained under the pretext of a national emergency, and they might not be privy to the fact that these things can be engineered. And this is, and, and I mean, if you go back and check the writings of all these, uh, the prophets of the New World Order, it, you know, they've been planning this for hundreds of years. So I mean, it's not just coincidence that these things are going on. The, this and, and like I said, it's the same 10 steps. I mean, or I didn't say it, Naomi Wolf said it, and I just happened to agree. It seems so. That's, this is exactly how it rolls. What happened on the Indi in the Indian camps? They disarmed them. They uh, got them into one small area. Then they gunned them down and, and slaughtered them with sword and, 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 uh, and gun. And a lot, most of the time, most of the times in the Indian wars, the slaughters, it was they really just slaughtered women and children and old sick elderly and it seems like war always the 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 babies the women and the old always pay the uh the price because in these genocide events and it it shows you you know that are people human still when you start to kill the babies and then kill the old and then start to just target women you're becoming like a beast, like an animal, you know, that doesn't even have uh, no consciousness or you wouldn't do things like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, animals don't even just murder that indiscriminately. You know what I'm saying? Because they do. There is violence in nature. But uh, 
there's a this seems like there's a balance you know there's always a reasoning behind certain things man uh it's territorial hormonal chemical you know what i'm saying it's these these things go on you see them in nature man uh but uh i was sitting there playing uh i was playing grand theft auto v uh and that's uh let me think i'm about 28 percent of the way through the game it said i think when i saved it but that game has got so much stuff in it it's talking about a paramilitary private mercenary armor that works for the national uh security and uh on the game it's it's the dude is he tell him about pope and his new miracle of making the blood of january uh yeah <laughs> yeah that's i mean yeah that's it's crazy right there uh i mean it's obvious that's obviously magic uh like magicianry but uh the holy relics or uh, relics you know, they're dude listen that's that's a good thing to look into is relic hoaxing you know what i'm saying like uh there's the same relic hoaxer guy it's tied up in all kinds of stuff like the the monkey bones mixed with human bones that they use to push uh darwinism the same guy was also uh involved in the yeti the yeti artifacts that's that's like holy relic artifacts yeah yeah um but yeah uh in this damn game it shows or uh, it, it basically just straight up it, it makes many references to the new world order it, it, it talks about uh this dude actually gets abducted by aliens you get abducted by aliens but it makes it's like every time this dude does drugs in the game he has an alien experience which is kind of weird but uh, there's a part when you get this guy, he's basically like a psychotic, uh, crazy, uh, dope addict, dope fiend type character. Uh, and he, he seems to, it seems like he knows every single thing about, about what's going on. He talks about the federal government and all this shit. Uh, and it, that's, it, is, once again, this, is, this shit is legit that they're saying in the game. Everything that the dude said in the game is real talk. Uh, it's crazy how, you know, and then in the game you see these people, like, like there'll be exchanges, uh, like road rage exchanges where, like, where you'll drive, you'll cut someone off, and you'll hear them yell something at you. And this dude was like, he's like, I'm sick of paying for your welfare. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it shows you once again there's that neoconservative mindset that people are in. And... That's how you get them to join on to the gun control. And, uh, and then the mass genocide is because you, these people are going to believe that, you know what I'm saying, they're saving their very way of life. Because in the Higlinian dialectic, it's always like this. They, they, they make multiple factions, or sec, it's sectarian. But in all actuality, at the head of either sector in whatever sect, it's the same Illuminati that controls it. So, and I mean, that's the whole Jesuit oath is that they agree to be actors on a left and right game where they get people to join these causes and rally behind these causes. And basically they get two people worked up on each side and then they get them to fight each other all off to the death. Then they come in and change their regime and implement their new laws or they'll have their bankers wait. They know war's coming. So what's going to sell? Well, let's buy bullets and sell them. You know what I'm saying? That's as simple as that. You know war is coming because you're orchestrating it. You know what I'm saying? So, and then you profit from it. I mean, this is just how these things work. Same thing. Why? Why do they? Are they giving all these? Uh, you know, civilian police officers these militarized vehicles. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's and and they're being given these on loan from the federal government. It's not that they're they're not loaning them to you. They're just ha you have them. So when you when the martial law is declared, you'll have the tools that you need to go out and commit a mass demo side genocide situation. And uh, that's crazy. I mean, it's crazy how it's in the game. You know this this gun control martial law, uh, the whole spy NSA surveillance 
shit and all this weird uh, paramilitarization of everything. I mean, they try to keep it under wraps, but man, it's it's easy to tell. And in any time in history, when 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 nations got to the point such as we're at now, never ends good, man. Uh, I mean, basically, because the the victors of this battle, they get to go to hell. And uh, they go slaughter the innocent every single time. I mean, because there ain't no real enemy to fight. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to make enemies. You got to, oh, it's your it's your week to pay the lottery. So you just get picked to be the bad guy. And then they, you know, it's, 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 it's crazy. But it's like basically it's ritual sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? When you go out and you, like Waco, Waco, Texas, that was a holocaust. That was a annual sacrifice. If you ain't noticed lately... They'll have a fear death cult sacrifice every, I mean, I heard, I heard Obama today, he called ISIS a death cult. So basically, he's admitting that, you know what I'm saying, they're basically a big death cult, you know what I'm saying, out here in the world. And that's why you'll see them tell you something in a video game, uh, they'll come straight out and tell you. It's kind of like the jester, man, or, you know, uh. The jesters get to mock the king or the ruler, but they don't get punished for it. So in a way, they get to tell the truth. But since it's funny and satirical, and since they get to put, since they put on this this funny costume, they get to be the fool. Since they look, you know, they're like, look, I'm already people are laughing at me, so now I'm gonna redirect this attention that I'm getting on someone else. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and that is exactly how this is, man. It's the fucking Pied Piper. I mean, here's the thing. How do you know the Pied Piper is controlling all these sources? Because they're all whistling the same fucking tune. You know what I'm saying? And uh, if they're all whistling the tune, well, they're all learning it from the same sources. You know what I'm saying? And, and that is indeed true. Uh, like, I swear that that game, Grand Theft Auto, they used the... They, they modified the game, it seems like, off the... Illuminati card game playbook. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just really strange. Uh, I mean, the dude in the game, he says, he goes, yeah, man, everyone's running out of creativity, man. There ain't nothing new in Hollywood. He goes, everything, they're running out of ideas, so they just keep telling the same thing over and over again. But it's really just the same story. That's because, like, people are, it said that. And it's like, yeah, it is like that, man. It's because in a communistic, fascistic, society man i mean things really uh people don't lack you can't hold a gun at someone's head and have them create their best work of art because it requires a level of freedom and uh, a free state of mind too as well as physical freedom to do what you need to do to to make your art but i mean when they start being restrictive it starts to people's stuff starts to change you know, and conform to that mold matrix that they're trying to keep things trapped in. And, uh, it, it, it's nuts, man. This is, this whole shit is nuts that people just don't get it because, uh, they're, they're pushing this hard right now for gun control. I mean, and it, here's the thing too, in the Bible, it says, basically, it says some of you that will be delivered up for 10 days. You know what I'm saying? And I was thinking about it and I know in, in Rex 84, the King Alfred plan, they got this strategy how to kill everyone and take everything over by hour by hour by hour by day by day by day. And I bet you they might be able to do their 90% depopulation in 10 days. I think that's what, what this is meaning here, the connection. I mean, if you don't think neither, listen, that the, the government, the American government doesn't trick people. I'll tell you a story about the Indians, man. Uh, they used Indian scouts like rival tribes that kind of knew the lands of another tribe that could track Indians. They would use these guys in the uh, American cavalry. But once these guys helped them get round up all the last of the free Indians, they disarmed every Indian soldier, then threw them on the reservations with the people that they just, uh, that they just helped uh, get put in jail, basically. And, uh, and, uh, in a Hitler camp, a Nazi concentration camp is basically what that situation would be like. But it'd be like, it's like throwing, like say you were uh, a blood, man, and they threw you in the crypt section of the jail. You're going to get murdered. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
But that's the type of shit they do to people, man, about gun control. It's really about world conquest. Peace is world conquest.